Hey guys, Gary Dean, detailjuice.com, resetcharters.com. Today is a great day. Couple reasons. First reason is I'm going to pick up my brand new 2019 Fish Pro by Sea-Doo. It is an industry first. Um, no other company makes a dedicated fishing rig. There's a couple of reasons I like that particular unit. First of all, I wouldn't say I'm an avid fisherman. I definitely enjoy fishing. I definitely um, like to do it as much as possible, but I don't get the opportunity too often because I own several businesses that keep me very busy. But the Fish Pro has a Garmin uh, GPS fish finder unit on the actual ski where you don't have to add one. Yes, it is far less expensive to add one aftermarket, but through hole designs generally don't work. And if this through hole design for the transducer is not amazing, then my warranty will uh, fix it. Whereas if I install a GPS fish finder on my own, on one of my skis, it's up to me. And if I do a transducer mounted to the back, I'm gonna have to put holes in the ski, which is never a good deal. So the Fish Pro, it's an amazing unit. It comes with the nice cooler on the back with the rod holders and that kind of thing. Uh, the extension on the rear deck, I think it's an extra 13 inches. <clears throat> the additional link system attachment points uh, is pretty cool. Um, I also like the uh, the flat seat and that kind of thing. Anyway, I have not seen it in person yet. Two days ago, it was delivered to Tampa Bay Power Sports, which you guys probably know from my other videos is my preferred place to shop. Uh, they have always treated me right, even before they started carrying my products. They've always treated me right, 100% uh, professional, um, in a very friendly, homey kind of way uh, I, I just I like dealing with them uh, Chad Izzard the uh, I believe he's the general sales manager uh, awesome guy to deal with uh, whatever discounts can be applied he'll do it I mean obviously you guys gotta just keep in mind these people are in business to make money just like myself and while giving a discount is not necessarily a bad deal there's a place where everybody's just got to stop and just be happy so with that said, Chad will do whatever he can to get you the best deal possible on any of the brands they sell, not just Sea-Doo. Uh, but my, my buddy Tom, Tom Morrissey is quite amazing at, at Tampa Bay Power Sports. He's a sales guy there. I've been using him for a long time. I've spent a ton of money there recently, uh, especially uh, here in 2018 with Reset Charters, uh, which is an adventure tour company that I own. Uh, we will be doing fishing tours and that kind of thing uh, moving forward. But I just wanted to shoot this quick, um, I guess, intro to the video. Uh, as soon as I get over there to Tampa Bay Power Sports, I'm going to bring you guys in with me to see the ski for the first time. Talk to Chad, Tom, and all, all of that uh, while I get things finalized. I'm super stoked to get this thing. Uh, the other cool thing about the Fish Pro is it has a 18 and a half gallon fuel tank, which I think is either two and a half or five gallons bigger than my GTX uh, 300 Limited. Anyway, it's bigger for sure. Um, and they also have that Link four gallon gas tank that could go on the additional Link attachment points in the back uh, to bring extra fuel or whatever. But I like the bigger fuel tank. Uh, that's a huge plus for me. Um, extended range, but I also like that it's not supercharged. It's the 155 motor. It's the 1503 naturally aspirated uh, Rotax engine. Awesome, awesome power and really, really nice. Um, it's just a great design. I mean, it's been around for a long time. Uh, boat manufacturers are now using that motor. Um, 
you don't need a supercharged ski to have a good time. That is for sure. So with the combination of a bigger fuel tank and a natu naturally aspirated non-supercharged engine, uh, the range should be considerable. But beyond that, it has the brand new ST3 hull, which is awesome in big water. So super excited. I'm gonna, I gotta run a couple errands and then I will bring you back as soon as I'm over there at the dealership. All right guys, I'm here at Tampa Bay Power Sports. Truck's parked way back there. The ski's in the back. I'm about to go in and do the paperwork and get this party started on my brand new 2019 Fish Pro. I'm gonna give you guys a peek of it real quick while I grab some paperwork out of the truck. Super excited to pick this thing up. Super. Did you see that bug literally just fly into my mouth? That's freaking gross. Oh. Anyway, there she is. That's my new baby. Super excited. 2019 Fish Pro. With audio, super excited. Time to go in and pay for this bad boy. Woo, I'm excited. I cannot tell you how stupid excited I am about this brand new Fish Pro. I believe, and to be honest with you, I would have bought this same ski without all the Fish Pro stuff. I think that it should be a thing. I feel like uh, eventually Sea-Doo should come out with uh, that same ski with the new ST3 hull, the 155 horse motor, and um, the bigger fuel tank. And without all the fishing stuff, that would be the perfect ski. You could ride all day in any water uh, and it would save a lot of money. So moving forward, I potentially would get a dumbed down version if Sea-Doo came up with that. I, I almost guarantee they have to, like that makes the most sense for like the next year. They can't give you everything in one year. So I think that's where they're leaning. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna do just real quick, I'm gonna cover these uh, worn uh, bunks with uh, some new uh, carpet before we load the ski on the trailer. So I'm gonna do that real quick. It's paperwork time. You can see I've been sweating. I had to cover my bunks with uh, new carpet. Uh, the ski's sitting out back and uh, we're about to do some paperwork. Hey Tom. Sign some papers. Part of the deal today, Gary. Yep. You got your signing hand ready? That's my boy Tom Morrissey. Tom He'll be here if you need him. Uh, he's a sales guy, my sales guy. Uh, every time I buy something here at Tampa Bay uh, Power Sports, this is the guy I see. Uh, we're gonna take care of some of this and we'll be back when we head outside to grab the ski. We're going to lift Fish Pro in the air and shove this trailer underneath it. Then we're gonna have to probably modify the trailer arrangement slightly to make it work. I'm worried that it's not going to work. All right, so we are having to modify the trailer because it ain't gonna work with the new ST3 hull. I just had to replace these new uh, bolts. They're came off pretty nice. Yeah, they're brand new. The hardware and the U-bolt Um Should we change the angle at all? Okay. Yeah, it is awful short, huh? Bring this front piece up. What we're going to do is undo this. And bring it around the lights. around the lights. So we should be all right then. Cool. Awesome. Do not have want. <laughs> I don't want to have to buy a new uh, trailer. So we got we got Tom Morrissey, my sales guy over here, working on the trailer. That's service right there. This guy gets to sit in the AC all day, and now he's out here working on my stuff. That's the kind of service you get over here at Tampa Bay Power Sports. And it right, Tom. It's it, baby. This is what you get for trying to use uh, a junk trailer for a premium, high quality ski. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said it. Well, it's not a junk trailer, it's just a galvan, an old galvan, galvan, galvanized one I had laying around. 
All right, we got the trailer all modified to work with that ski. So now he's pulling it out where I can hook it up to the truck and get out of this bish. Sweet. All right. Thanks, Tom. Good job. I appreciate go. you, man. Like fish in Tampa Bay, better beware. That's Gary's right. gonna hit the water, baby. We'll just fish Pro 19. All right. You got anything else to say, Tom? Well, thank Gary for his help. If anything you need to clean, detail your machines, go to him. You need the machines themselves, come to me. Thank you very much. Words of wisdom. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Thanks a lot. All right, boys and girls. It has been one heck of a day. I'm super stoked that I got the. Uh, Sure, you can see the uh, fish pro behind me somewhere, or maybe you can't. Anyway, there you go. You can see behind me now. <laughs> Look, I'm getting all kinds of weird on you because uh, I'm so excited. Um, and uh, I don't know what else to say about Tom Morrissey and. Chad, the general service manager over there, or I'm sorry, general uh, sales manager over there at Tampa Bay Power Sports. Those are, just the company in general are some of the best people I've ever worked with. It is not a complicated process to go in there. Uh, th those guys are all very knowledgeable. They do all of the C-Do and whatever, whatever brand they um, sell, they, they talk to all the reps, they get all the information, they know what all the other dealers are doing. Um, they can get you a very fair price with no complication. You're not gonna have to bug the crap out of them for them to give you a great deal. Um, they're just very fair with you. I mean, that, that's what I'm trying to get at is, they're not crooks. I've been to other dealers. <laughs> I've been, uh, I won't mention any names, but I've, I, I recently, um, no, I won't say that either because they're probably watching these videos. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just not trying to piss anybody off because it's not worth it. Um, I, I, I was dealing with another dealer locally and let's just say I was less than thrilled, which is why Tampa Bay Power Sports uh, started to get my business. Uh, and that's all I deal with now. I'm a, listen, I got nothing, nothing wrong no issues with Yamaha or Kawasaki. Uh, Tampa Bay Power Sports is a Kawasaki dealer and a Sea-Doo dealer. Uh, they do not sell Yamaha, but their company does. They have a uh, Central Florida Power Sports, which is another one of their stores that carry my product from DetailJuice.com. They sell Yamaha, uh, so I could get Yamaha through their company, which if I preferred them, I would definitely do that. But I, I don't. I just like Sea-Doo better. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to have any problems with Sea-Doo and I would have problems with Yamaha. It means that I prefer Sea-Doo over Yamaha. That's it. No other reason. I own a couple of Yamahas. I don't prefer the Yamaha VX over the uh, Sea-Doo GTI. They're about comp comparable machines. Uh, I feel like the VX series is quite tippy uh, compared to my GTI SE 130s that I have for my tour skis uh, for my other company, Reset Charters, which is why I bought the Fish Pro. But I don't feel like Sea-Doo is necessarily better they're just my preference i like the styling better i feel like they have better hull designs uh, i feel like um their their engines have always been incredibly reliable for me uh, and that's all i can speak to is is my personal experience and i like them sea do guy right here obviously since i currently own uh eight sea do and two yamaha so if you guys got questions for me, I definitely would say that I have quite a bit of knowledge on the Sea-Doo product. I also have a lot of knowledge on the Yamaha product. All of them. 
lots of research. I make it my business to know all that I can um, about what I do. So if you got questions for me, let me know. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406. And also check out detailjuice.com if you want uh, to know how to protect your CM Tech material. Anyway, um, all of the issues with the CM Tech material and the hull cracking situation have been remedied. Uh, it's all good now, shouldn't have any more of those issues, but if you need products that are guaranteed not to damage your CM Tech material, you can find them at detailjuice.com, my marine series, uh, hybrid spray coating, and my ceram acrylics line. All are safe on your CM Tech material and any other boat that you may have. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that take the time to watch my videos and listen to me babble. I just want you guys to know I appreciate you. So whether you need detailing products or you want to take a tour in the Tampa Bay area or anywhere else we're doing a personal watercraft tour, let me know. Check out either detailjuice.com on Facebook or you can check out Reset Charters on Facebook. Uh, the Reset Charters website will be up soon. We had to update some stuff, change a few things, but... Uh, Thank you again. I, I appreciate your trust and support, and thanks for listening to me babble. Have a great day, guys.